Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're on our way to Comstock House, and uh, well, we kind of have a lot of money at the moment, so let's buy the Charge Aid, which adds brief invulnerability on attack and recharges our shield immediately on attack. So that's a nice panic button if we want it, and that took out most of our funds at the moment. So let's keep going and see what else we can find. I'm actually gonna equip charge, because that's gonna help us out a bit. Especially on this uh, difficulty, extra shields and uh, the brief and vulnerability are always very handy. Let's search the shoebox and I think we can already hear a few people over there. Uh, we're actually not gonna use the carbine anymore since we have the trophy already. And I do wanna keep everything fresh. The founders will bleed. Let's search this corpse. There's a bit of salts on it. And there's another lockpick next to it. So uh, there we go. And let's pick up the Voxophone from uh, Preston Downs again, our favorite cowboy. Mr. Comstock, when we next meet, it won't be the parlor. See, I went out to that hall of heroes to scalp your false shepherd for you. Turns out, though, DeWitt speaks Sue. He helped me to swap words with this crippled child I've been, uh, looking after. Now after hearing how the kid has fared in your city, I'm thinking when we take your pelt, I'll let him hold the knife. There we go. So uh, this is the point that Preston Down swapped sides from uh, Comstock to Daisy Fitzroy because he met Booker. So, good news, he didn't kill the child, he accidentally got caught in a bear trap and uh, Booker helped him talk to the child, so uh, that's why he changed his mind, because he, he heard Booker's story, he heard the kid's story and he realized that uh, Comstock isn't the good man he uh, seems to be. Let's open this you area this. up, Come there on. we go. Something challenging. So since we have an abundance of lockpicks at the moment, that's not a problem Ready. at all. The roguish type, 28 out of 30. We're almost there, so two more locks and we you get another trophy. Thank you. And nice. if I'm not mistaken, we are getting close to our final vigor. Let's open, Can up you open this, the Elizabeth? safe. A minute. There we go. 29 out of 30. Let's search the safe and all the money in it. Let's check this area, because most of these areas are just loot-filled stuff. That's pretty much it, so let's go back over here and let's go into the Salty Oyster. Because uh, the Salty Oyster is a very interesting uh, area, not just for the enemies that just spawned. Um, did they get stuck or what? You kill me? Where is that last guy? Buddy. Oh, there he is. Take this ammo. Come on, give me the execution, Jesus Christ. Yeah, oh my god. And thank you for the ammo. Just in time, because that actually disappears if you don't uh, get it immediately. <sighs> oh, lovely music. Probably gonna get my video. Uh, Copyright stricken, uh, but if I'm not mistaken, God damn it, I need to remember this. Just gonna shut this up. Um, there is a secret area in this salty oyster place, um, and I think uh, there's another piece of gear here. Shock jacket. When struck, 50% chance to shock nearby enemies. Victims take 50 damage and are vulnerable for two seconds. That is against ammo advantage, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take it. We're still using ammo advantage. I might actually swap that out. Because it, well, kind of makes things a bit more interesting if I change up the gear every once in a while. You know what? Let's do that immediately. Um, so the vast ammo advantage. I can technically work around that. I think the shock jacket might actually be nice. Let's try that. Let's watch the kinetoscope. There we go. Have we seen this one? A Lute Lutessa's brother arrives in Colombia. There we go. First confirmation that he's uh, her brother. Colombia's greatest scientist has a twin, a physicist as well. Another genius who even knew she had kin. There we go. So kind of 
They're hesitant about calling him her brother and we already had a kind of a hint when we got uh, on the cable lift, uh, the cable card. The lock pick. Grab it. Where? Where? Where are you? Over there? Oh yeah, you're right. Because on the cable card they said, why do we always complete each other's sentences? Which is interesting, isn't it? So they, uh, they do that constantly because we've seen that before. And uh, yeah, there was not really an explanation for that. So they might be twins or they might not be. I know there's something more to this area than hmm. I think there is. Because there's a way to open these doors. I think it's supposed to be a button. God damn it. You know what? I don't know exactly where it was, but I know there's a, a voxophone later on that tells us about it. So... Uh, Let's move on first, because I know we're gonna we're gonna know it eventually. Where to find it? Ah, let's head up. That's what the man. Come on. Jesus. Okay, there goes the frame rate. Goodbye. That was mainly weapon based. Um, let's, let's go with Murder, Murder of Crows for now because we haven't really used that up until now. Ooh, another lockpick on this, guys. Ooh, that, that was a. Ooh, I kicked the fireman in the butt so easily. Um, we're almost out of. Hmm, we're almost out of hailfire ammo. There's not really much over here, so let's swap weapons. They have. Heaters mostly. Anything else? Okay, let's go for the heater then. I think I already... No, you know what? I already have the shotgun trophy, so let's keep it for now. Um, let's keep the volley gun for now. The hail fire gun, I'm sorry. They're all different. Ugh. Somebody died on the stairs. I need to go up there, but I do want to... Uh Possess this armory as well, so they give us a bit more money. And let's see what we can uh, upgrade here, because now there's a lot more weapons, of course. But I'm gonna upgrade the machine gun damage with a second boost, and then the. Ooh, there's a little damage boost here. Sniper rifle. There we go. Maybe even. Maybe even the shotgun, why not? Let's accept it. There we go. There's a lot of, uh, thank you, a lot of upgrades, and there we go, Grand Large, yes, I think that's spending $10,000 on the vending machines, so we've been spending a lot of money lately, is there anything here, no, okay, let's head up the stairs, Grand Central Depot, Your homes are ours! Your lives are ours! Kill them all! Empty the jailhouses! Burn down the mansions! We lost track of him! So now that he's focused on the... Jesus. Let's go with Shock Jockey. There we go. Dead, Hanks. I need to be careful here that I don't get ambushed all of a sudden. I'll see what else I can find. I've got ammo. Here you go. Thank you. Much obliged. Jesus, there's somebody on the left peppering me. You did? That was a double kill. Oh, 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 oh. You little piggy. Uh, didn't I actually combine that with Chuck Chucky yet. Jesus. Oh, 
Up the butt. Okay, um, I'm out of weapons. I'm completely out of weapons. Where the fuck is he? Come on, give me, give me, give me something. Ooh, Nagi. Have some salts. There's the first, the first gun. Thanks. I am completely out of uh, everything here. Let's use charge as a backup here. I'll try to kill everybody that's still alive with my gun. There we go. I think there's... Isn't there one more here? The music is dying down, but not completely. Firemen. Literally. Multiple. It's all I've got. Yeah, there it goes. Where's the second one? Holy gun? That's not good. Go ahead. On it. There we go. Bye, bitch. No, 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 no. There he goes. Goodbye. Taken care of. And that fills us up rather nicely because those guys always have a lot of loot. So I think the other one died over there. I think he did. Let's go over there and just keep the burst gun for now. Wait, what? No loot. What the hell? He did die over here somewhere. Well, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to loot this entire place because we killed a lot of people in here. And uh, I'll get back to you. So, uh, there's a lot of loot around Got here, it. especially the two areas on the side. And I think this is our 30th lock. There we go. The roguish type. 150 silver eagles. And there's a voxophone in here. So let's listen to Rosalind Lutess. The Lutess field entangled my quantum atom with waves of light, allowing for safe measurement. Sound familiar, brother? That's because you were measuring precisely the same atom from a neighboring world. We used the universe as a telegraph. Switching the field on or off became dots and dashes. Dreadfully slow. But now you and I could whisper through the wall. There we go. You were using the same type of atom. And we used it to communicate through worlds. Um, indicating that Robert Lutess is not so much her real brother from her own world, but a brother from another world. That's something than a brother from another mother, right? Um, so it's not actually her twin, but they found him on another world. Uh, and they communicated through an invention of both of them, because they kind of made the same invention. There we go. Let's pick up everything. There we go. And I think that's pretty much it. I looted most of this area because there's a lot of stuff here. Out with this lock. Let's Just request the lock pick. Done. And now I need to be careful because if we go to the end of this area, we actually leave this place and we can't really come back anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Now. You bet. There we go. So we got ambushed by two snipers and that took away most of my health, sadly. Um, let me see. There's an area Those to the left. I think it's a library. Line. Yeah. Should we check out the bookstore before we leave? See, they're one way. So should we check out the bookstore before we leave? The Founders Books Bookstore. Uh, we're definitely going to do that because there's a lot of stuff in here. And I think it's also the place where we can find the Voxophone telling us about the secret in the... Um, the Blue Oyster, I think the, the restaurant was named. Uh, anything else we can buy? Could go for Crow's Boost. I think I'm going to save up for Shock Chain Aid. Electricity! Electricity! You want to take a look at this? Look at yeah. world. Open it up. So, uh, the bunch of lockpicks we've gathered over the course of the game All is uh, really paying off because we're uh, using them everywhere. There's a piece of gear here. 
Overkill. Killing with excessive damage stuns nearby enemies. Um, it is instead of Fleet Feet, but I'm gonna equip it because I kind of like Overkill because it uh, boosts the usefulness of weapons like the sniper rifle and the rocket launcher. And even the volley gun in uh, in a bit of uh, in a bit of a fashion, because every time you kill with way too much damage than you needed to, they're gonna stun everybody around you as well, which is really handy. And there we have a voxophone from Rosalind Lutes again. Brother, what Comstock failed to understand is that our contraption is a window not into prophecy, but probability. But his money means the Lutes field could become the Lutes tear. A window between worlds. A window through which you and I might finally be together. So there we go. She was looking for a way to actually pull people through uh, using the tears that we kind of know now. But before that she only had the field through which she could communicate using Morse code. So turning it on and off would activate something in the other world. And that way they could communicate. So if you go down here, there's actually a basement level to this bookstore. Um, and there's downstairs. So Duke's the symbol of uh, the bookstore, of course, furthering the propaganda. There we go. And I think if I now use Murder of Ghosts, did I do that already? And then, well, you know what? Let's. Okay, that was a complete miss. That was horrible. Yeah, there's mangled, burned corpses rolling down the stairs now. I do apologize for all the violence in this game. I mean, sorry, YouTube. Uh, let's pick up this foxophone. I think this is the one I wanted. Yeah, there we go. Ronald Frank. Sally! The bastard snuck in while the Vox was shooting up the place and took my girl! Got her locked up in the salty oyster. His hidden closet. He keeps all his treasures. Just need to hit the button under the register to open it, but... <sighs> I hate it when a game does that. Um, because I definitely checked underneath the register, because I knew the button was supposed to be there. Um, but it only appears if you get this foxophone for some reason. There we go, no lockpick. Uh, and that is pretty much it, I think. So we're here for the voxophone. Because the bigger reward is in the... Ooh, I'm actually gonna swap it out for the repeater. Although, with the burst gun has more ammo. It doesn't do as much damage. Um, I'm actually gonna go back to the blue oyster now. So give me a second. Okay, never mind. We can watch this. There we go. And then let's go with fucking Bronco. Oh, he sold his own face off. There we go. I do... I don't know. I, I... I love the fact that they suicide, but it's so freaking graphic. And I mean, I love that they suicide because it's functional. Not because I want people to commit suicide, for, just to be clear. Because I, I know the internet can um, misunderstand things like that sometimes. Uh, I'm actually going to swap out for the hand cannon. Ooh, I do miss that extra ammo in the chamber now. Is there anything here? I don't think there is, but we can actually get the freight hook Elizabeth. up there. And we can use that to get up top where time. the sniper rifle guy was. And then let's possess this. Okay, it did make a noise. Uh, oh, oh, damn it. There we go. Wow! Over the railing! That was nice. Um, anything here? I would have thought there was going to be something interesting here, but no. Uh, there's nothing over there as well, because we could jump over there. Cake! There's cake! It's not a lie! So, let's head back to the Blue Oyster and, uh, and I'll see you guys in a second. So, it's the Salty Oyster, not the Blue Oyster. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna activate the gun turret because I know that when we get back out here we're gonna get ambushed. Yeah, it's a tiny bit of a spoiler, but never you mind. So now suddenly there's a freaking obnoxious button over there. Ah, oh, never mind. There must be a button under the register. 
Are you kidding me, Elizabeth? It's freaking open. I just pushed the button. But here we go. Our final really? vigor. We just risked our lives for a bit of titillation. I think I knew her. Worked at a bar on Houston Street. Here we go. Sally. Did. Yep, Sally. There we go. Look at Sally. She's a beautiful woman. There's, she has certain features, but yeah, beautiful woman. So let's pick up our last vigor. Return to sender. Because this is a very interesting vigor. It's used very strategically, but I'll uh, I'll let the game uh, explain it for me. And again, a horrible, horrible animation. Kind of turning us in Colossus. Press to generate a magnetic shield. Hold to absorb damage and release to throw it back. Hold and release to create an explosive trap. There we go. So we can actually stop bullets with this vigor. Because um, it's... Well, it has a lot of uses. If you just use it once, you j I'm just gonna do that. If you use it once, you generate a shield. It's temporary, very temporary. It lasts for a few seconds, but it's similar to a few of the effects, such as the invulnerability from um, from charge. But then the more interesting effect is the one where you can hold it, absorb bullets, and throw them back at people. Grab that lock. Which is freaking awesome. Um, I'm gonna do the infusion first. Let's boost it up to 9. Perfect. There we go. Then the lockpicks. Infused with greatness, which means... Well, because of the, the DLC, we're technically at max that you could have if you uh, just play the game. Because you can't max everything in the, the standard game. Uh, but we're going to be able to, I think, with the DLC. I'm not exactly sure. Let's... So the purchase, purse is empty. Let's listen to another Lutes Voxophone. You have been transfused, brother, into a new reality. But your body rejects the cognitive dissonance through confusion and hemorrhage. But we are together, and I will mend you. For what separates us now but a single chromosome? But what separates us now but a single chromosome? So, that is weird, because DNA matches are usually only found in twins and well apparently alongside dimensions you keep your dna because they're uh they seem to be brother and sister yeah you just got the machine gun so collecting bullets and throwing them back there we go now we used all eight vigors that's why we got another trophy Thank you, turret. They kind of completely ignored that turret. So, what was I saying? I was talking about Letess, right? Yeah, so her brother got uh, transfused into this reality because, of course, Comstock wouldn't mind having two genius scientists in his team. And, uh, well, he suffered the same effects that we saw other people having, uh, and of us, uh, Booker himself as well. So, the hemorrhaging, the confusion between uh, double memories. Um, which is, of course, a bit weird in Robert Letessa's case. Because he shouldn't have the memory confusion. Since he doesn't really exist in this world. Or does he? So let's get back. So I think I got pretty much everything out of that that I could. Just gonna switch back to Bucking, bucking Bronco. Because I He's love me some Bronco. We won't be able to return. And I don't think it's necessary. So uh, here we go. Um, here we go. Uh, I need to I need to use the right one for some reason. There we go. Um, four, five, three. Oh, interesting. Um, let's try and open up the ooh, silver eagles. Money, money. We can always use money. Is there something else in this area? I don't think there is. It is this kind of a transitionary area again. So let's call the elevator. Can you open this. It's a simple dual dial lock. My book said most fools keep the combination no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. Yeah, and they actually are a lot of fools, because if you just take a few steps back and move these dead. books away, we get a very familiar so combination. Picking and 
code breaking. So, um, a in a cage if you played a lot of games, you might recognize this code. And I won't be locked up again. But... Zero four five one. It's a code that's uh, very familiar to most gamers because it's been used in a lot of games. And there we have a machine, a whistler, calling Songbird. Hi. Uh, Booker? Duck. So this is also kind of used to uh, indicate how Songbird's eye changes color based on his mood. So green is safe. Orange, yellow is he's on alert, and red is, uh, well, high powered attack mode. That screaming is horrifying. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, so she doesn't want to turn, go back to her tower, is what she was saying. So let's open up the elevator and uh, talk Elizabeth, to her. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right. And Booker doesn't make the promise, obviously. Zero, four, five, one, a heated combination. Um, let's enter the elevator and uh, here we go. Leave the area. So, um, the Vox didn't really die with Daisy Fitzroy. We kind of saw that already. So they're still uh, Look, very, very powerful. Tearing this place apart. Look at that airship. That's a gigantic airship. Uh oh, ow. Thank you. Maybe start firing at somebody else. Oh, God. Why did that happen? Oh, Here we go again. So let's go up here because we kind of have the high ground. Let's get. Do it now. Done. Let's go with the mosquito. Actually, gonna go down. And then we go to Undertow and toss him down. Let's go back to Bucking Bronco. Do it! All right. He's standing right underneath an oil spill, so chase us. Let's activate the mosquito again. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually gonna swap to Electro Bolt, activate the water puddle, and um, hope somebody stands in it. No, nobody. They were almost dead, all of those. Oh, shit. I think I can actually hit. Oh, he doesn't care. I think you're far enough. You do? I don't think you got me. Rockets? Rockets! Handyman, over there! Oh god. Oh god. That is gonna be a problem. Um. Oh Jesus Christ! Thought there were rockets as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Still looking. 
Okay. So now. That's all of them. Don, 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 don. Honey, man. Jesus Christ. Where is the honey man? Come on, let's go, man. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. Oh, my gold indeed. Oh, what the? What the hell did he just hit me? Did he hit me with a corpse? I need to get down there because there's health kits over there. Okay. Let's open up oh, it. Yes. No, 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 no. Cap me on the frick. <clears throat> Sometimes it just doesn't work. Frickin' die already. Oh my god, I hate handyman. This is gonna be an issue. Did they make these stronger or what? Oh yeah, yeah. Do it. Now. Okay. Now, now there's a freaking RPG here. Okay. Um, well now that we're here, let's just open, open this up. Keep a lookout. Oh my god, that was terrible. That was terrible. Yeah. Well, I only died once, which is something at least. Let's listen to another Lutess Foxophone. I had trapped the atom in mid-air. Colleagues called my Lutess field quantum levitation. But in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple, why not a city? So that was a bit of an escalation from an apple to a city. But yeah, you kind of get the point. So she managed to uh, let an atom fail to fall, as she put it. And uh, that made her uh, discovery the origin point of uh, Columbia itself. So that's why everything is floating over here. And the uh, windmills underneath the city are just used to propel it in a certain direction. So that's why there's also no balloons or anything underneath the city, because they just float. It just failed to fall, as uh, she put it. Um, I'm actually going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to continue on in Emporia and every uh, area that is linked to Emporia. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.